king crab is the largest crustacean of some 40,000 known crustaceans. Where these, the largest crab, are thought by many to be caught commercially only in the North Pacific, in particular adjacent to Alaska. In fact, such large crab are also found and commercially fished in the Russian North Pacific, in the North Atlantic adjacent to Russia and Norway, in the South Pacific adjacent to Chile and Peru, and in the South Atlantic. The most recent advances in this worldwide commercial fishing for these prized giant crab took place here in the South Atlantic. In 2005, test fishing in the South Atlantic Ocean demonstrated a surprising catch. Crab, large crab, and a curious abundance at that. Crab from this newest fishery was brought to the United States for scientific study. In the upper picture, we compare two crab. In the first picture, we see half of the crab, or cluster, as it is called, of the crab from the South Atlantic Ocean, and directly below it, a cluster of red king crab caught in the North Pacific Ocean adjacent to Alaska. In the picture just below is the same arrangement, but the clusters are turned over to display the underside. The similarity of these two crustaceans, caught some 10,000 miles apart and in different oceans, was simply unexpected. The commercial form of king crab is the individual legs. In this picture, we compare to the crab from the South Atlantic not only red king crab caught in the North Pacific, but to another popular North Pacific crustacean, the brown king crab, common name golden king crab. Brown king crab is typically more orange in color by comparison. This discovery of a new crab in the South Atlantic Ocean was at first met with another confusion of a large crab. This other crab commercially caught in the South Pacific adjacent to Peru and Chile is distinctly different. In this picture, we see these two different crab from the South Atlantic and that from the South Pacific. The top two pictures, left and right, show the whole crab and cluster of the crab from the South Pacific Ocean. This is the crab for which the common name is Centola, or Centoya. Directly below are pictures of the whole crab and the cluster of the crab caught in the newer fishery from the South Atlantic Ocean. Centola, pictured above from the South Pacific, is a spiny or thorny crab with shell color which is uniformly a dark magenta. In contrast, the crab from the South Atlantic has small protrusions and hosts a light, even bright red color. In 2006, test fishing in the South Atlantic allowed this new crab to come to market in the United States, in that this crab at that time had not been identified with a common name as provided for by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration. It was something of a conundrum as to what to call it. After lengthy consideration, the U.S. Food and Drug Administration adopted the name Nova Crab. This early ruling was to help the consumer distinguish this new crab from crab caught specifically in Alaska, because consumers, it was believed, already were at a disadvantage to distinguish king crab from Alaska versus king crab from Russia. In 2011, the U.S. Food and Drug Administration expanded the acceptable market names to include, in addition to Nova Crab, Santola and Southern Red, and its common name, Southern King Crab. The first full-scale commercial fishing began in 2008. Baited traps, which do not disturb the ocean floor and do a distinctly effective job to catch only crab, are soaked and pulled back on board where the live crab are removed from the traps. One by one, each crab is identified to be male or female. All female crab are returned alive to the ocean floor, as are smaller crab. In the processing room, mid-deck, crab are cleaned and the clusters are cooked, freshwater chilled and frozen, all within about two to three hours of being caught. The freshness of this frozen at sea catch makes the flavor and texture of the final product as fresh as that day in which it was caught, sweet in flavor, moist and with a hint of salt naturally occurring. Southern red king crab are all natural with no chemical additives. A significant amount of the catch has been coming to the United States, where the crab is processed into a wide variety of convenient forms. Crab is processed by grading for quality and size. The most common pack of the crab are individual legs and claws, graded into several sizes. The next most common product form are pre-cracked and split crab legs, which make the meat easy to access, popular for the restaurant trade. For grocery trade, crab is packaged into a wide assortment of exact net weight containers with UPC barcode and nutritional information. A most exciting part of the fishery goes back to 2008 when commercial fishing got underway. 
At that time, this new fishery, designated Southern Red King Crab Bottom Trap Fishery, undertook the challenge to become a worldwide recognized sustainable fishery as certified by the London-based Marine Stewardship Council. The scientific team, the authority for the Marine Stewardship Council, reported, quote, During the process of certification, the fishery has shown continuous improvements and changes regarding research and management systems, end quote. The goal for certification continues. In 2013, the Monterey Aquarium published a 22-page report and recognized the southern king crab fishery to be a good alternative. Equivalent to this is the fishery Alaska red king crab in the northern hemisphere. Now both fisheries, rated good, stand in contrast to king crab fishing from Russia, where illegal fishing in the North Pacific and poor resource management have plagued the overly aggressive taking of Russian king crab for decades. Nova Fisheries, based in Seattle, Washington, was both the first to bring this crab to market, as well as the company to initiate and fund the investigation by the Marine Stewardship Council. Businesses and consumers who ask for Nova Southern Red King Crab add immense support to encourage sustainable fishing for all crab. For questions or more information, please contact Nova Fisheries in Seattle, Washington.